Okay, so this is quiz four. Um, this is the first question from quiz four. So it says that we have <clears throat> a company that makes one product. Um, each unit requires six kilograms of raw material. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on. So it says for the last accounting period, this was the materials purchases um, budget of 168,000. So this is how much they spent on purchasing just based on this. So it says opening inventory was one. So they had opening inventory of 1,500 kilograms. So the question I suppose is how many, this is the purchases, so how many kilograms did we purchase, right? So we must have purchased, yes, 168,000 divided by three pounds, if each is three pounds. And so that must have been divided by three, that must have been 56,000 kilograms. So we purchased 56,000 kilograms. So we start the day with 1,500 kilograms, we buy another 54,000 kilograms. And the question tells us that at the end of the day, that we have 500 kilograms left. So the question is, how many kilograms did we send to production? So it must be, yes, it must be 1,500 plus 56,000. We had a total of this, and then we must have had this amount, and then we used a certain amount, and then we had this left. So it must be 1,500 plus 56,000 minus 500 kilograms. So it's 1,500 minus 500 kilograms. So it means that we sent to production 57,000 kilograms. So we used 57,000 kilograms in production. Yes. Now, um, the question says that um, if we use 57,000 kilograms in production and we need six kilograms for each unit of material. Question is, what, well, well, and how many units had you budgeted to produce? It must have been 57,000 divided by six. Yes, and that's 9,500. And that's the answer for question one. Right, so let's see what we have here. Um, this question is it has a slight accounting feel to it um, in terms of what profit really means. I mean, profit literally is, um, if you like, what the difference is between, it's really potential, isn't it? What you can sell something for um, against what it costs times how many units you actually sold. So we're really focused on selling 50, 50 units. That's the point here. We're really focused on selling 50 units. The question here is, well, what is the profit, if you like, on each unit? That's one way of thinking about it. So you know you have a selling price of 110 for each unit, it tells you clearly that in terms of direct materials, you need five kilograms, and each of those kilograms costs eight pounds, so that's 40. Then you have direct labor, and each of those is two hours of labor at 10 pounds, so you need 20. And then you have a variable overhead, where you have two hours at four pounds, and that's eight. So your total cost is 68 pounds um, per Per, um, per unit. So if you're selling for 110 and it's costing you 68, then if you like your profit on each unit um, is, is just 10 and it's 42. It's 42. And if you're selling 50 units, therefore 50 times 42 takes you to 2,000, 2,100. So your profit for the period is 2,100. Oh, yes, just one more thing. By the way, yes, ignore. I mean, again, here, you did, yes, you produced 47. The only reason, okay, it just, all this simply means is that you had opening, it means you had opening inventory of three, because if you produced 47, that's the only way you were able to sell 50, right? And to be fair, though, I'm assuming it doesn't tell us that um, what your closing inventory is, but it doesn't matter, you see. I, I can assume that there was no closing inventory. I can assume whatever. I could assume I had opening inventory of five, I produced 47, and I had closing inventory of two, right? Because, you know, five plus 47 minus two. You can, it doesn't really matter. Then just because you, <clears throat> just because you purchased 240 kilograms of, of, of steel in itself doesn't mean that that's the production cost. No, it's not. Okay, great stuff. So question three. So what we have here is us trying to find out um, what's been happening in these months. I'm going to use a different pen color just to make sure that I get, it's so easy, I think, to get lost um, 
with the with the numbers. So I'm just going to use a different pen color for September because that's what I'm trying to identify and use the same pen color for the others. So for June, I'll just change this to black as well. So we're told that in what what happens in this scenario here is that, um, uh, oh sorry, is that um, in the actually I think I've cut out right. I've cut this out. Let me just go to the original question and and bring back bring that back in. Um, because what I do is I go in and I take a copy of the original. Um, sorry, let me just okay. Let me just sort of yeah start from here. I think this is better. So let me just so we actually see what the question is. Um, just do this again. Snip this out. Can't use this. Um, we'll use this. Thing. Um, here we are. Yeah, so ultimately this is the question. And so we have here, um, where are we? Yes, we have June, July, August. I'll just change my pen color for here till September. Okay, so this is what we have. And I'll just go back to the blue. Right. So um, the question says that um, we have <clears throat> um, sold goods on credit in these particular months. So I'll just put those in just so we see what they are. Fifty thousand in June, um, seventy-five thousand in July and 65,000 in August. So what happens in September? So I'll just change this to black just for these, for the Junes. So it tells us that what happens is that in the, it happens every, you don't get any money in the actual month. So 60% of what we get in June, the actual 60% of what we sell in June, we will receive in July, since so a month after sale. And then 20% of what we sold in June, we will get in August, blah, blah, blah. And 15% in September. So let's do that. So therefore, 60% of um, June, if you do that, 60% of June will take you, will take you to 30,000. So you will get 30,000 in, in July cash, but it also says that you, you, you give a 2% discount to people who pay in this. So you, you don't actually quite get 30,000, you get 30,000 less 2% 2 of 30,000, which in a way is 98% of that. So you actually get 29,400, just to sort of be really exact. That's what you actually get. So in a way, I can almost kind of cross this out in terms of what I actually get, right? So what, if, if I'm really analyzing this correctly, I should really take this out. So that's what I actually get, 29,400. Okay, let's carry on. Then you get 20% of this amount of June in August. So 20% of that is 10,000. So you get 10,000 in August. I'll use black for what I receive. And then finally, you get 15%. I'll use a red color for this. 15% of that, 50,000 in September. So just changing my pen color. You will get fifteen thousand. Sorry, seven thousand five hundred here um, in September. Right now, let's see what happens in July. So in July, just going back to my black pen, it says here you will receive sixty percent of this in August. So sixty percent times seventy-five thousand is forty-five thousand. So technically, you will get forty-five thousand here, but you're not going to get forty-five thousand. You get forty-five thousand less two percent of it. So you're going to get 40,000, 44,100. So just therefore, what you're really going to get is 44,100. And then, of course, you're going to get 20%, 20% of that, um, 75,000, 20% of 75,000. You're going to get that in September. So I'll just change my pen color. You're going to get... 15,000 of that in September. Yes. And then I can forget about, I don't need to know, do the others, do the final month. And then let's focus on August. And then on August, I'm going to get 60% of this. So 60% times 6,500, which is 3,900. 
but I'm not going to get 3,900. I'm going to get 3,900 less 2% of it, which is 3,900 times 98%, which is 3,822, right? So I can erase this, I can erase this. So this is what I'm actually going to get here. I'm actually going to get, right? So I'm going to get that plus 15,000 plus 7,500. I'm going to get a total of 26,322. At least that's what I get. Sometimes with, when you're doing this on the math, you know, so, you, but, but that's the process. So I think that should be your answer. If you do it carefully, um, you can see the approach I've taken and that's how we arrive um, at, at our, um, oh, sorry, one second. I think, I think it's my error here. This is 65,000. No wonder the numbers looked a little bit odd. So this is 65,000. So this would have been 13, this, oops, sorry. If that was 65,000, that would have been, um, that would have been 39,000. And this would have been 38,220, which means this would have been, because we're not getting this, are we? Yes, you're getting 98% of 39,000, yes? So what you are fully getting is a 7,500 plus 15,000 plus 38,220, which takes you to 60,000, 60,720. Cool, great, great stuff. That's the answer to, to that one, to question three. Question this one, which of the following is included, is included in the cash budget? Salaries and wages, yes. Salaries and wages, yes, because it's actual cash. Depreciation, no. Depreciation is not a cash expense. Increase in allowance, no. This is not a a cash expense. It's not a, an actual expense, like cash expense. There's no money going out. You're just creating an expense in the income statement. Repayment of principal, this is actually a cash flow. So these are so only one in four are cash flows. So only one in four are cash flows. This quiz um, is that you have a um, situation where you have a supervisor. These are the pre-salaries, supervisor and cleaner. And this is all pre the beginning of the year. So the year we're interested in, of course, is the 1st of April 18 all the way to the 30th of March 19. That's what we have. So let's deal with these um bit by bit let's talk about the supervisor first so the supervisor is going to get a pay rise halfway through the year and this this five percent here is of course a yearly award when you see percent you know it's for the year for 12 months i suppose there's two ways to do this you can just find the five percent of the twenty eight thousand and say okay well look this is the increase this is the easiest way to do it i think so you can say, well, what's the 5% times the 28,000? And that gives you the 1,400. And then you say, well, look, if this is for a year, well, for six months, it must be half of that, mustn't it? So that's a half. So it must be 700. So it means that the supervisor is a new budgeted salary is 28,000 plus 700, which is 28,700. Right? Let's look at the cleaner. If each cleaner is getting... A 5% raise, again, to 5% times 21,000. That's 1050, but this is only for six months. Take a half of that, that's 525. So each cleaner is getting um, a new salary situation of 21,000 plus 525, which takes them to 21. Five two five. Well, there's three cleaners, so we're going to multiply this by three. It's twenty-one five two five. Twenty-one five two five. Twenty-one. Twenty-one five two five times three is sixty-four. Five seven five. So that's the figure I need for the supervisor. That's the figure I need for the cleaner. Right, then we have the final scenario where we have this new cleaner who will join us. Um, remember, our year is 
um, we're running from the 1st of first of April um, to the 30th of March. So we have April will go and then they'll join us on the 1st of May. So they're going to be with us for 11 months. Now, if this is the annual salary, this is what they're really saying, um, the annual salary, you're really saying, well, because that's what, when you were given this, this is this means this, this is the salary, this is for a yearly. So what they're really going to perceive in terms of for the period is 17,000 times 11 divided by 12, aren't they? That, that's not the prettiest of numbers, so that's 15583, <clears throat> right? That's what's going to happen. Now, this is, what they, this is what you should really budget for. But then they're also going to get this pay rise of 5%, but only for six months as well. So we can calculate five months, 5% um, 5 of this, so we can just find out what that pay rise is. If I take 5% of this, I get 779, that's the 5%, but I only need this for um, six months. So what is six months of this? So if you divide this by, well, well by two, that gives you, they divide this by two, that takes you to 389.57. So in total, they will get this, this new person joining. <clears throat> so they'll get 115583, they'll get, they'll get 11, one one they'll get sorry one second seventeen so let me just say that seventeen thousand times eleven divided by twelve is one five five no sorry fifteen thousand five hundred and eighty three multiply this by zero point zero five good you have seven so sorry it's my fault here fifteen thousand five hundred and eighty three plus 389, that's what they're going to get, 15,583 plus 389 gives you 15,972. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get this, this, and, and this. And so let's add all those together, 15,972 plus 28,700 plus 64,575, takes you to 109247. Now I mean my uh, you know I've been multiplying and adding. So you I think the answer is about 109,000. I've forgotten the rest, but it's this is the answer. Close enough to this anyway. So that's where you are. And that's the process of doing it. You might have done yours differently, maybe multiplying this by multiplying this by multiplying the 28,000 times 1.05 um, or 0 1.025 give me because you know 1.05 times a half or half of that is is that so you could have done it but it doesn't matter i think i've just done it this way to make sure everyone can practically see what's happening with um how we calculate the interest right you can just find the interest first that's for a year you only need it for six months take half of that and just do that and take do it on a monthly basis and you'll be there okay great stuff